not have a child of having seizures, but you have other issues in your life that are saying to you that God's Word is not true. That's what they're trying to say to you. Right. And we don't believe that. We know yeah. God's Word is true. Right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. However, the enemy's job, his object, his goal is to get you to believe your circumstances more than the Word. Amen. Even though you might be saying, I believe the Word. But your actions are saying, no, I really believe what's happening to me. Because I'm acting and reacting according to that. Right? But well, we've all been there. Maybe there today. I don't know. But we've all been there. No question about it. The trial comes. The circumstances are overwhelming, it seems. Difficult. Causing uh, feelings in your body that you know better than to yield to or to pay attention to. Yes, they, they come. Feelings of helplessness, feelings of fear, wondering how to deal with it. Uh, you got to deal with this thing and get the victory over it now. Amen. Otherwise, it'll defeat you. Amen. Hallelujah. But I got good news. Amen. You're undefeatable. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You might get temporarily knocked down, but you'll get back up. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, the one in the boxing match, he gets knocked down and stays down. That's the loser. Right? right? The one standing is the winner. Well, you're the standing one. The devil's been knocked down already. Hallelujah. He's down for the count. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you, 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 not only did he see that this was happening and caused him obvious uh, emotional issues, the dad, but then he brought him to the disciples. And they couldn't do anything either. Now I don't know, but I, don't, I would imagine that there'd be several people that would have already given up by now. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just doomed to live with this. Because he sees it happening, he's helpless to do anything in his own ability. Brings them to the disciples of Jesus. They couldn't do anything. And so... Many people would just figure, well, it's too bad. Sorry. I'll have to live with it. And then the reasoning comes in, you know. Reason it away. <coughs> well, we'll just have to keep him away from fire and keep him away from water. You know, reasoning sets in on how to deal with it, how to accustom, how to acclimate yourself toward it, even though it's not supposed to be there, but it's there. You understand what I'm saying? Well, we don't acclimate ourselves to problems. We get rid of problems. Stay in the mountain. Be removed. Amen. I mean, that's what Jesus said here, isn't it? Glory yeah. to God. In Matthew 17, 21 down here, verse 21, he says, How be it? When the disciples ask him, what, What's the problem here? How come we couldn't do this? <coughs> this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Well, that's an interesting statement. <coughs> Which kind? Which kind is he talking about? Is he talking about the devil there that's causing the convulsions? No. I don't think so. He's talking about unbelief. Unbelief. That's the root. Because verse 20 he says, Because of your unbelief. Alright? So then he clarifies. In verse 21 he says, this kind, unbelief, hallelujah, goes not out but by prayer and prayer. Now, I've heard people preach all kinds of things on this, make up all kinds of teachings, how mean and bad devils are that you got to fast and pray to get rid of them. Hallelujah. But i got news for you. The devil is defeated. That's right. Subject to us. Um, so, why would I need to fast and pray over somebody that's defeated? All right. But what I do need to do is get the revelation mm -hmm. that he is defeated. Amen. Right? Amen. I need to see that right. with my spirit. Mm -hmm. I need to realize by revelation that Satan is not who he says he is. Hallelujah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. So this kind, unbelief kind, comes out by prayer and fasting. That's how you deal with it. So that's what we're going to talk about. 
Hallelujah. Turn to Mark chapter 9. This is the Mark's account of it. Same, same, same. Mark chapter 9 and beginning with verse 23. Jesus said to him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. How many things? All. Oh. Now we also read in Matthew 17 and 20 that he says, Nothing shall be impossible unto you. Nothing shall be impossible to you. And then verse 23 in Mark 9, All things are possible to the believer. All things. All. Say all things. All, all things. things. Verse 24, And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Amen. Help thou mine unbelief. Well, what did he do there? He prayed, didn't he? Well, Jesus said, this kind comes out by prayer and fasting. Well, here Dad puts that into effect and gets victory. He said, Lord, that's prayer. I believe. Help me. Get rid of this unbelief. Now look in Luke 18. Luke 18 and verse 1. And he spake a parable unto them to this end. The purpose of the parable was this. That men ought always to pray and not to fast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you see that? We said unbelief goes by prayer and fasting. Now here, Luke 18, he spoke a parable. And the purpose, the point of the parable was that men ought always to pray and not faint. Mm -hmm. Now you can interpret faint several ways. Quit, give up, 